Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I apologize for missing last week's tutorial as well as my Saturday tutorial. Um, long story short, I am building a five-headed dragon and as you can see, I had an incident with, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the material called Great Stuff. It's a crazy chemical thing that it expands. You can use it on walls and stuff. Well, I got it all over my hands and it was able to rip up most of my skin and if you've ever if you ever worked with great stuff before you know how extremely sticky it gets and once it hardens onto whatever surface you're putting it on especially your skin then it gets pretty bad so that was mainly the reason why I skipped it was because my hands were in such a horrible shape I I'm sorry, it's a ridiculous excuse, but that was the reason why I skipped last week's tutorials because I had great stuff all over my hands and you don't want to see these hands all bloodied up and everything. And as you can see, here's what great stuff usually does because this is left over from yesterday. So I apologize. So today we're going to start our Moana tutorial series. If you don't know who Moana is, Moana is Disney's new princess. It's the Polynesian princess. So. It, you have to go see this movie. You probably have already seen a couple of uh, commercials around and everything and trailers and Lin-Manuel Miranda is writing the music for it and I am so excited for it and Dwayne Johnson is playing Maui so it's just got so many good things going for it and I'm so excited to see this movie. Go ahead and draw baby Moana first because one of the trailers reveals baby Moana when she meets the ocean for the first time. So let's go ahead and draw adorable baby Moana. So the first thing I want to do, this particular image is like a bird's eye view of us looking down on baby Moana's face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw out Moana's head. So the main focus is going to be baby Moana but she's going to be like carrying a couple of seashells and you're going to see her feet and her shoulders and that's basically all we see. So underneath right here, we're going to draw out this round spot to signify her neck. And then from over here underneath, you're going to draw the top of one shoulder and you're going to jump over here. And here's the other shoulder because she's got her head kind of tilted to the side because this is the ocean looking down on her. So we're going to bring this around and circle up and go ahead and connect those two together. After that, you've, after you've connected these two together, what I'd like to do is we're going to go down below and you're going to draw one little feet here and one little feet piece right here as well. And they basically, they just look like um, little duck paddle, waddle, whatever. <laughs> they just look like duck feet right now. All right, so let's start with Moana's face. Now, like I said, her head is tilted to the side a little bit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw the eye line right here. Even if her head is tilted to the side, we are still looking straight on at her. So after I've made her eye line, we're going to make the middle of her face. So we're going to say this is the middle of her face. Now what I want to do is I'm going to jump down below right here and I'm going to go ahead and lay out her nose. So to help just a little bit, let's go ahead and just turn this to the side just a bit. That way we have a more of a, once you lay down the shape of her head tilted to the side, then you have like a straight on view and you can just work on from there. What I'd like to do is you're going to jump over here and you're gonna make sure that the bottom of the line on top of this line, you're gonna go up, circle downwards. This is nice and open right here. Bring this down. After that, you're gonna jump over here and do the exact same shape. So I'm gonna start again with the bottom. Bring this up and bring it down. You want, to, you want to make sure it's the same shape and same width. I'm going, to bring, I'm going to scoot her nose over just a little bit more. But since we are having 
a straight on look that means everything has to be equal with the face facial features. So after her eyes are laid out, what I'd like to do is we're just gonna jump down a little beneath her nose and we're gonna mark out where her lips are. So here's her upper lip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in. She has a thick upper lip and a thick under lip as well, but the, her upper lip is a little bit thicker than her, her bottom lip. And I'm going to lightly just show that her mouth is open because she's looking up. After this, what I'd like to do before we start filling in some things, I'd like to shape up her face just a little bit more so we can see more of baby milk, of her facial. So we can see, okay, no. <laughs> so before we keep going on, I'd like to go ahead and shape up her face a little bit. So over here, you're gonna bring down this side of her face and you wanna have a good significance like space. And then we're gonna bring out her cheek a little bit. So we have a good full forehead, a little bit of a cheek, and we want to have a little bit of a chin. She is, she's, she's, she's a little chubby just because she's a baby, and we're all chubby babies in the beginning. We have a rounded out chin and a rounded out cheek. We're going to jump over here, do the exact same thing, where we have a good significant amount of space right here between the forehead and the eye. Round out the cheek once again. And you just want to make sure that everything seems to be equal on each side. Okay, after you do that, let's go ahead and start filling in more of her facial features. So let's start with her eyes. Now, for her eyes, we have one pupil iris that is almost touching the bottom of her eye. So we have the whole iris right here and we have all this leftover white space. Let's jump over here and do the exact same thing. Where you don't go to the corner, leave a little bit of the bottom. Round, still have a big significant space of white. All right, so we have a little bit, we have a shine right here in this part of her eye and a shine right here as well. And then you jump in the middle and we have a pupil jump in the middle here and we have another pupil so we fill those in and then what you would like to do is you want to go around her iris and just make that nice and dark because she has amber uh, brownish eyes and it's much darker around this one on the top on the left eye it's much darker and then it fades to a little bit of a golden brown around the sides. So you don't want to shade that in too much. And then on this side, it's darker up here and it's lighter down here. Now for her eyelashes, let's start with the right eye first. It, she has, even for a baby, she has very extremely fluffy eyelashes. So I'm gonna round the corner down here. And you just go ahead and give her those thick eyelashes around the corner and it's nice and dark. Like she has a very dark eyelash line on top and bottom. Even on the bottom, we have little itty bitty eyelashes. After that, you're gonna jump over here and do the exact same thing where you line the top. And just go 
go ahead and fluff out those eyelashes and they get smaller when you get closer to the top but at the corner you want to make sure they're nice and fluffy and as well at the bottom make it nice and thick Okay, after that, let's jump down to her nose. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a middle to her nose. So that means after I draw this middle, I'm gonna mark underneath that circle I just made. After that, I'm gonna make a nostril here and a nostril here as well. Take those things away, those guidelines away. This is going to be a bit of a shading technique so what you're going to do above here, where the, where the top of the circle was, you're just going to shade above it and shade around it. Jump over here, shade over here as well. And then pretty simple, I'm just going to take my fingertip and smooth that in. And then what I'm going to do where we made that circle, I'm going to shade underneath as well. And so this is dark, this is a good solid line, and this is a good solid line. And you just want to shade under that. And then I'm going to jump up here, above the shading of, the, of her nose, I'm going to bring that up and shade right down the middle of her face just to show the significance of her nose ridge. Now what you can do is you can jump over here and give her a little bit of an eye, an eyelid line. And that's shaded just a little bit. After that, what I'd like to do is give her her eyebrows. So starting, we're gonna jump up from up here. Starting from right here, you're gonna bring this down and over. So it's going to start there. I make this little bit of a mark, bring this off to the side and bring it down. I'm gonna jump over off to the side, make sure it's the same distance away and it's on the same level. Make a little bit of an area and bring this down and over to the side. And she does have thick eyelashes and they are shaped pretty well. And I'm just gonna fill it in by making little itty bitty circles. Jump over here. So we have her two little eyebrows, and you just want to, once again, you want to make sure that the same shape, same level. We're going to jump down to her lips, so we already kind of laid out her lips just a little bit. So let's go ahead and fill this in just a little bit more. And I'm going to fill in the inside of her mouth. Underneath, I'm going to go ahead and fill, make that just a little bit rounder. Because she's looking up in awe. Make that nice and dark. And then I'm going to jump off to the side right here and shade in this side of her lip as well as the bottom. I'm going to shade those in as well. She want to make sure that they still have that good, hard, solid line. Now I'm going to give her her rosy cheeks. So you can go ahead and shade underneath this eye, this eye because she just has big rosy cheeks. And jump over here and she's got nice rosy cheeks here as well. Now I'm just going to smooth that in. I know it's not the proper way to shade stuff in, but I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy shading sticks to shade in something. After that, let's go ahead and fill in her hair. So from starting up here, the part is going to go this way. 
and lying downward. So the, overall, this side of her hair is going to go this way and this side's lining across her face because she has a flower kind of tucking behind the hair on this side of her head. So I'm going to jump over off to here and I'm just going to go ahead and bring down this side of her hair and then from over here jump off to this side over this section of hair So we're just marking it in sections for right now. And then I'm gonna jump down from this side, flip out this side, this side, and back behind her head once again. And you wanna make sure they're both on the same level. So before, after we do that, I'd like to go ahead and mark her ear. We have one ear. Let's start from the corner of her, her cheek her cheek, forehead, jump around and bring that down. And then you're gonna jump over here and do the exact same thing. We don't see much of her ear because the hair is chopping off this, the top of it over here. And then this side is being covered by a flower and I'm just going to draw a circle for right now to mark where my flower is. So let's start with this side of her hair. So from this little this little piece of bang and then it goes up and then we have like a little bit of a wispy piece of hair going in front of her eyebrow and then this goes off to the side and this is a part of her forehead right here so I can go ahead and get rid of that. So bring this over off to the side and bring out this little piece of wispy hair. And it's all very curly. It's just the beginning of curls. And you just make sure it's nice and curly and this is wrapped up into each other like that. The shading, the way the shading of her hair goes, back off to the side, this is all just fairly dark brown. And you can't really, the light's not really hitting it because it's hiding underneath her head since she is looking up. So the light is hitting directly on here so there's a lot of shadow play going on with the hair behind her head. So the light is hitting in this area right here. So you want to make sure this is nice and dark, this is dark, and this is dark under here and as well as down there. Now for this area, this is going to be dark and you can't see much of the shadow play going on, but I'm gonna bring out this little wispy over here. And this is nice and dark since it's being overlapped by a flower. So let's get to that flower. Now, we're not looking down at the flower, but it's kind of turned off to the side since we're it's, it's on the side of her head. So we see, let's go ahead and map out. Take this away. So what's happening is we have one petal right here. We have this petal off to the side. Then we have this petal, bring it around. And then we have this petal, connect. And then we have a petal off to the side here. But these two are overlapping everything since we're seeing the top of these two petals. So let's shape those up a little bit more. So this is a beautiful tropical flower. So they've got that distinct shape. And this, this is overlapping this one. This one's overlapping this one. So they have a rounded off kind of a pointy shape at their, the bottom of the, their petals. And what you're gonna do is the way that these are colored is that this is a hot pink. And then it gets lighter out this way. And underneath here, nice and dark where it's overlapping. And the dark pink fades out once again. And I'm just gonna bring down this piece 
up the petal. And then from over here, we see pink on this side of the petal. And it's rounded off down here. Nice and dark on this side of this petal. And it's lighter. And then from this petal, it's just overall a dark pink. And I'm just gonna lightly shade into that. So we have here. I line the lines a little bit darker with some pen just so you can see where the overall it's going. I know the shading can get a little crazy at times. But underneath the flower, once we're done with that, we still have a little bit of hair that we can see underneath the flower. And here's her ear. And then this is a bunch of more curly hair and it's going in this direction and it's hidden right there. Now for her ear, we can't really see it that much, but we can go ahead and shade this in to signify it's her ear. But on this side, we can see the opening of her ear and a little bit of a crevice of her ear. So this right here is darker. And this is darker underneath this line. And we can go ahead and shade that in. So once we're done with that, you can go ahead and put your paper right side up again. And now we have her head tilted to the side. So the rest of it, or the rest of her body is fairly simple, but what I'd like to start with first are the seashells that she's carrying and her puka shells. So where we made the, her neckline, we're actually gonna jump right underneath here and it's going to connect right here. So I'm gonna jump underneath that neckline, make it a little bit longer and attach to here. And then what I'd like to do is go ahead and fill in those puka shells. Now the puka shells, just look like teardrops. So we'll start with the main one. They look like coffee beans. Start with the other one right here. I'm just gonna build up. And then you're gonna go all the way to behind her head. And one's hidden underneath her head. It's okay to make them different sizes if you'd like. Shells are never the same size. And we'll just stop there and then you go to each shell and give them the line. Yeah, you're just drawing coffee beans. And then from right here where this neckline is, we're gonna actually shade underneath that line. Smooth that in. And then I'm gonna go underneath and shade all of that as well. And then her shoulder will be shaded in because her head is overlapping her shoulder. Now from there, you're just going to go beneath the puka shells and to where her, the line of her arm is. And make a big circle. That's in the shape of a big giant puka shell. Bring that around. And connect those. And you're gonna jump over here. We'll make a circle there. And then we'll make another big circle off to the side over here. But this one should be overlapping this circle. So I wanna start with this one. What we're gonna do is you're gonna go and make a spike. Spike, 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 a spike over here. A little bit of a, a little bit of a hill here. Another little hill, and then a little hill, another one. Now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna shade in there, and then I'm gonna jump right on top, above this line. I'm gonna make another fuzzy looking creature on top here. I'm gonna make another little line. Now to shade this in, all these ridges are white. So I'm gonna fill this in 
I'm going to go to all those places. And up here, it's dark where we made the lines. And I'm going to shade those in because those, those tops are all white. The shells are difficult to draw. So over in this one, this one has a shell that's coming off to the side. They are big conch shells. So after we draw this side of this conch shell, you're going to bring up this side and make it another little layer and you can fill this in. And then the, for this conch shell, you're going to make like it's a flat like a flower petal. And this is shaded in inside, but this is white. And then what you can do is you can get rid of that line because it is all one solid color on top. And I'm going to make the top of the conch shell. And from over here is nice. It's just, they look like flower petals. And another little weird looking flower petal. And you just want to go in and shade, but the ridges are all white. So I'm just shading around it. And they, if you do color this in, in the end, these conch shells are a yellowish. And finish this conch shell, and we're looking kind of at it at the side. So I'm going to start with the top of this conch shell. We're going to jump around, bring this around, bring this side around, and bring this side around. And then from this spot right here, you're going to bring it around and tuck in back there. Now from right on top of this one, you're going to make those ridges we were making. Make this one have ridges as well. And this one has ridges. And this one has ridges. And this one has ridges. Now you're going to shade back behind this ridge, shade above this one, shade above this one, and shade underneath here, and you can shade in the rest of it. we have our crazy looking conch shells as easy as possible. So let's jump to her shoulder. This one is going back behind this conch shell and we can kind of see her arm a little bit right here. Round that off and then we don't see this part but we see this part of her arm that's carrying the rest of the shells. Bring this up. around and it attaches. You can draw through the top of that shell just to make sure you're on the same level of line of arm. And what you can do is you can shade back here since we are on a bird's eye view. Now that's it. What you can do is you can get rid of the line that we used as a guideline earlier but for her feet we're gonna keep these these general shapes but at the very end so we save the most, the most part of her foot. But at the very end, you can make like a little itty bitty toe. Little toe here. Little toe here. Little toe here. And a little toe here. And you just bring that around. Nothing too drastic. You just want to separate those toes with little itty bitty lines. For the shadows, you shade in this side of her foot as well as above because her arms are overlapping and then from over here another little toe another little toe little toe here little toe here little toe here and connect line it line it line it and line it so we have a little itty bitty toes and I'm going to shade here and I'm going to shade off to the side. 
and shade alongside of her foot as well. And there we have her little toe. So one foot is more in front of the other and this is looking right down on Moana like the ocean's looking on top of her. And if you want to, you could go ahead and draw maybe the ocean underneath her. And she's, because she is on the beach. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy drawing baby Moana. Let's go ahead and draw adult Moana next week. So I was thinking maybe doing one of the concept sketches from the actual movie. That way we are all ready and prepared to see Moana Thanksgiving week. But yes guys, I hope you all have a most wonderful day. And I hope to see you all next week with drawing adult Moana. 